Now, Sean, you're obviously here to talk about chronic injury from a player's perspective. You had, obviously, chronic hip injuries in the past. When, when did you first notice, I suppose, the, the problems with your hips? Yeah, I suppose it was back when I was about maybe 13, 14, 15, I started getting a bit of pain in my groin, pain in my hip. A couple of injuries came with it. I suppose after that, then it, it just progressed on the next four or five years again. Um, I suppose I went to many physios and stuff, and there was all pain and pain-related treatment I was getting as well, like trying to manage it short term. But I suppose it was only when I got the MRI down at Whitfield and I actually saw what was going on there that um, I really got to, got to improve it after that. Up until that point, was it, was it maybe a bit frustrating to, to not really pinpoint exactly what's, what's going on or, or be able to, to improve the injury? Yeah, definitely. Like, I suppose I was in my teens there trying to get onto Limerick minor teams, 21s and stuff like that. I was training, I was pulling out of training, maybe maybe missing training because of the pain in my leg. Um, again, a lot of managers and a lot of, I suppose, trainers don't know really what's going on inside. It's a pain that you can play with one week, the next week you're out injured with it again. And even for players playing with you, it's kind of frustrating. Really, like, Jesus, he's not training tonight again, or he's after missing the last week, and now he's back again when the match is coming up. But it was just one of them injuries that just kind of came at you every now and again. You couldn't pinpoint when it was going to happen, and you just had to mind it when it did happen. You did go to, to Whitfield then. You actually, obviously, Mr. Carrington did, did work with you. Uh, how did it go after that? I'm sure you were delighted to, to be in, in his uh, good hands, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose, again, I was, what, 21 years of age, first year on the Limerick Senior Hurling team in 2011. Um, it was like the end of the 2011 year. Leg wasn't really right all year. A lot of pain coming and going, but I got the MRI, had the MRI artogram done as well, and again, it showed up. There was, um, I suppose, a pincer of bone really was the main thing from it that was hanging down. It was restricting my movement, which was, which was damaging all the area around my hip as well. So it was a lot of impact, and it wasn't easy to train, and it wasn't easy to play with. Um, post uh, operation, I suppose, then I was back training within 11 weeks, I think, the first operation, which was pretty good going for this injury. Um, I suppose I, I did everything that I could. I went by the rehab program I got from Whitfield. I worked with Mark Van Drumper on physio with Limerick. And I suppose he was watching me every night, as was Dr. Ryan and, and whoever the doctors and personnel we had with us. So again, I suppose I just took it from, took it from scratch, did the basics at the start. Um, so I was going back to Richard's point about eating. I suppose eating was good. I never, I definitely didn't lose weight when I was out training anyway. Um, it was harder as was after trying to lose the weight back again. But no, look, it was fine. Started back at scratch, got your basic movement. Progressed along through the into jogging stage, back to sprinting and straight lines. Gradually brought in kind of just was the snake running, and then got got back towards match fitness. I suppose at the end of the eleven weeks. Was there anything in particular? I know you're you're talking us through it there, but it was obviously a long process. The rehabilitation was there anything in particular you found more difficult than, than other tasks? Uh, I suppose I was training on my own. Um, I suppose it was good in the fact that the lads were training near me. Um, I was still part of the environment that I was training with. Psychologically, it was tough. I suppose I was in college at the time, and I was coming out of college, and you were getting trained, you are trying to do your training on your own, you're isolated, you're hoping you'll be back as soon as possible, but without really knowing at that stage as well how long it would be. Um, again, getting back to match fitness, because when you were back, you wanted to be back right, and you wanted to impress when you were back, but I suppose psychologically, it was tough, all right. I suppose with college going on as well, and you're there, I suppose, 21 years of age, and you're kind of thinking, is this going to get right? Is it going to be right forever? And thankfully, I suppose, for the last seven, eight, nine years, it's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, you've been you're still obviously playing with with Maru Boher at the moment, playing at a high level in the the county senior hurling championship. Do you ever get issues? Do issues come back at you? Do you do you ever feel the pain or anything like that now, or is that completely? Um, it definitely got better. Like as I said, the movement I had before the operations was was very minimal. Um, after operation, it got like tenfold, like which is so much better. I was at, at ease playing for a number of years. I suppose, look, now I'm pushing on towards my 30s now as well. It's seven, eight years since my first operation. It's starting to come back a small bit again, which was to be expected. But I suppose I met, Pat, doctor, or I met Dr. Carton a couple of weeks ago and we had a good, old, a good long chat. Uh, There's a lot of people waiting after it in the, in the waiting room. But <laughs> look, he said I can still play, which is good. But again, it's all about tailoring my, my training needs now again and maybe a lot more training on my own rather than training with the team, which again is going to, po is going to pose another issue. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy when you're on your own training and fellas are looking at you, they think you're taking the easy way out, but when you have my hips, it's, it's definitely not the easy way out. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we, we touched on the, the psychological side of things, and obviously it's a, a lonely place for a player trying to, to get back into a team environment. Do you feel even from, from a management point of view, from your managers looking at you where you've, you've, you've got the surgery, you're, you're trying to recover, do you feel they, they look at you that bit differently after you've had a, a major operation? 
I suppose in the pre, I suppose in the first 10 or 12 weeks when you actually are training on your own, they do definitely treat you differently. I suppose later on when the injury clears, they think you're perfect forever and, and that the injuries won't come back or the complications won't come back. But I even think Dr. Ryan there, if I was sick of me at some stages there talking to me about this and that, and I'm sore again, doctor, and, but, you know. So, uh, do you know, you feel for a fella that it was a difficult balancing act, so it was never, uh, you'd never be sick of you, you know, but, um, you sure? apart, from, apart from now from bringing me into this conversation, maybe <laughs> I should probably be a bit, but, uh, but yeah, you know, and, and that's a difficult thing, I suppose, for, for, with chronic injuries, like it's, you're managing a person as well as the, you know, the, the, the team aspect of it is one aspect, but then you've got guys that have got a life, so there's college, there's relationships, there's work and stuff, and like, you know, the whole thing, it, it takes its, its toll on someone physically and emotionally, I suppose. Like. Yeah, I suppose just going on with that, like in fairness to Dr. Dr. Ryan and, and Mark Van Drump, like they were fantastic people to have for your own personal and for your head and for your mental state as well. Like they were, um, like they actually made the road easier. They were always there for you as well. And it definitely goes back to the, to the psychology stage where like it actually made it a lot better. And anytime I needed anything, I could go to them and they'd, they'd look after you and they'd have a bit of crack and they'd, they'd always keep your, your feet in the ground as well. So it, it was very good to have those people with you. You're going to try and work your way back into John Kiley's panel for next year, Shani? Uh I doubt it, no. I, I'd love to look. Again, it would be lovely. I suppose I missed out on the best times. Um, so in 2013, we won the Munster Championship. Um, the, like, the one I always wanted was Lee McCarthy. Unfortunately, I missed out on that by just over a year. So, look, um, I don't think he'll be calling on my door any, anymore. But I've seen you playing. Obviously, you've, you were playing at a very high level, as I said, with Maru Bohor. But... How much of regret do you have? Obviously, injury is a, a massive thing. How much regret do you have about maybe the inter-county career as a result of it? Yeah, I suppose, look, you, you can't have much regrets. Like, I, I, every time I was there, I did my best. If I felt something came on, like, you'd obviously have to pull back a bit because it was for the long term that you'd be, you'd be better. I, I gave everything when I was there. I was lucky enough to win something with Limerick that a lot of people in Limerick, the great hurlers in the years, have not won. I didn't get to the Holy Grail with Limerick Carty, but I got the Munster Championship in 2013, and... Like I don't think I have any regrets hurling. I, I, I always give my all for my, for my county and that's, that's all anyone can do. A round of applause for Shawnee Tobin.